Good day. Um, I had a request from from uh, somebody on YouTube. Um, a young lady wanted to know how to make uh, wads for a muzzle loader, and um, and also how to use uh, wadding um, and patching. Um, so that's what this video is about today. Um, it's a fairly easy process, um, but I guess if you don't know or you haven't done it before, well then, uh, you know, you have to work these things out. Um, so I'm going to show you how to uh, how I do it, um, and uh, yep, that's okay, what we're going to do. First, cutting wads. Now. I use leather wads um, because uh, they don't catch fire if I'm shooting in summer and uh, and leather's fairly easy to come by. Um, if you're doing this at home use a, a, a lead block, a lead plate, okay it'll be less wear and tear on your wad cutter. This is a wad cutter, this is a modern one um, I carry one in my pack, uh, which is an 18th century one, and it's much lighter than this, and a much better design. Um, but it does the same job. Okay, so it's a simple matter when cutting leather wads, all right, of using as much leather, as, as little leather as you can. Okay, should have hit that a bit harder. Should come away inside the wad cutter. I'm going to do that again. But anyway, you can see it does cut cuts a leather wad. I'll do that again. This uh, I've used this lead a lot, and it's getting a bit dished in the middle, and that's probably why it's not cutting completely out in one hit. There you go, and it's inside the inside the wad cutter, which is how it should do it. Okay. If you're doing it out bush, obviously you're not going to have a lead plate with you, then you'll just have to do it on the stump or on a stump, or you, you probably won't have a stump like this because obviously this has been cut. Um, so you would have to use a, a log that's lying down. Uh, but that's okay, it, it does the same job. Um, especially the, the, bigger the, the bigger the log that's fallen down, the better. Um, and you do it the same way. Now if you're going to use bark, if you've run out of, uh, of leather wads, um, better to use green bark. Um, I've just cut this out of a out of a sapling, and uh, the sapling's got to be cut down anyway, because um, we're trying to keep this area up here clear um, for a fire break. So no harm done. So uh, on your piece of wood, um, again, same as with the leather. Just place your wad cutter. Much easier than with the leather. Push it in or out. There we go. And there's a couple of perfect little wads. They won't catch fire. And uh, you've got plenty of trees around, you're going to have plenty of wood, you're not going to be running out. Okay, there's a couple of leather ones and a couple of bark ones. Okay, we'll put that aside for a minute. I'm going to show you this on my uh, 
on my black powder breech loader because uh, it was easier to get um, I have to break my other my muzzle loader down to get it in the gun cabinet so um, it's easier to use this one and it's the same difference okay if you're using wadding wadding can be um, anything that's fibrous and it can be used over and under shot and over and under round ball um, I don't find it as as good as uh, as patching material and I don't find it as good as the solid wad material in either bark or leather but it is an option it is an option okay so somewhere in my pocket I have a round ball. Okay. And if you're using patching or patch material, it's an easy process of putting material over the top of the muzzle. Okay, putting the ball on top, pushing the ball down inside with your thumb, nice and hard. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste this by doing it. I'm just gonna show you. You then take hold of the excess, okay, you get your knife and you cut it off, okay? Now if you're using a double barrel, I suggest that's as far as you go, okay? You've already put your powder load in, okay? And you've already put a wad down, well you probably wouldn't use a wad, you can do if you're burning patches. You've already put your powder charge down the barrel and now you're going to use a patched ball to go down on top okay and if it's a double barrel you've got two barrels to do now I suggest you cut it off and leave it at that stage and then do the next barrel because that way you can see that this barrel has already got one in it if you push it all the way down and you get distracted you could come back and put another ball down the same barrel okay so leave it on top where you can see it, okay? Then do the other side, and then you can push them both down and you know it's loaded correctly, okay? It's the same method if you're using cloth, same thing again. Put it over the top of the muzzle, push the ball down in with your thumb, cut the remainder off. If you're loading shot and you're using wads, um, when you load one barrel, okay, you haven't got to worry about patch material, you haven't got to worry about cutting anything off, so when you've loaded one barrel, leave your ramrod in there. Leave the ramrod in that barrel you've loaded, okay, and then do the next one. And that, in the same way, you won't have to worry about loading the same barrel twice, okay. So that's the easy process. You're not likely to run out of wads out bush. Um, you'll either be able to use leather or you'll be able to use tree bark. Um, you won't have a hammer with you, but of course you can use the pole on your axe or your tomahawk. Um, so that's easily done. Okay, I think that's all I've got to say on this uh, on this particular subject. Um, take care out there and uh, I'll see you next time.